everyone, it's Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this fun, quick and easy random Christmas cowl or scarf. And the reason we're calling it the random Christmas cowl or scarf is we're using up all of our leftover yarns, whether they're chunkies, eyelash, or any of your medium weight number four yarns in any colors. Now, I'm calling this Christmas because I used all different Christmas colors from silver to sparkle red. You can see that in all the different colors that I chose. But this is a wonderful scarf for using up any of your leftover yarns. And I'll explain to you how that works with all the different weights. The main thing to keep in mind is you don't want to mix your wools with your acrylics or your cottons because when you wash it, it might wash up strangely. But if you're going to dry clean it, it'll be okay. Now you can find this scarf pattern on my blog and I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. All right, let's talk yarn. Now, if we're going to use medium weight number four yarns, you're going to be using two strands held together. You can hold two of the same color or you can mix them together to get different looks. If you're going to be using some maybe bulky five or six, you can just use one strand of those and you can choose any colors, variegated or solid, that you want. Now, when I use my eyelash yarn, like I did here, I hold one eyelash and one in a matching color that way it makes it just a little bit easier for me to find my stitches. Now you can mix your eyelash with any color if you want to. I just like doing it with a matching color. So you're going to need about six and a half to seven ounces of different yarns to make this scarf according to my pattern. But of course you can make it longer if you want to and you can also put the ends together to make it into a cowl or circle scarf instead of just a hanging straight scarf. So there's several options there. So if we're using the medium number four weight yarns, we're going to be holding two strands together. And when we use the eyelash yarn, we're going to be using one strand of eyelash and one strand of medium four. If we're using a bulky five or six, we're only going to use one strand. So like I said, there's lots of options to make a random scarf or cowl. We're going to be stitching with our J hook today and it's a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle with a nice big eye to get those thick yarns through. And then of course you'll need a pair of scissors. If you make the scarf according to the pattern, you're going to get a scarf or cowl that's about 36 inches long and about six inches wide. You can adjust that with three chains equal one inch to make it wider and one row equals about an inch if you want to make it longer. I'm going to be using two strands of medium weight number four in this green. And you can find the sparkle yarns with I love this yarn. Also Red Heart with Love has a sparkle. And some of the other ones also have a sparkle with a metallic thread running through it if you want to use sparkle yarns. I'm going to be holding two strands together. We're going to begin with our slip knot. And we're going to chain 22 chains. Now remember, we're going to be stitching in rows. And if you're going to make a cowl, you're going to want to put those two ends together. So make sure this initial chain is just a little bit loose so it's not puckered up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So I have twenty-two chains. We're going to place a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. 
one, two, three, four. Yarn over, go in the fourth chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, and go through the second two loops. The chain three here counts as one double crochet, and then we stitched another one. And now we're going to stitch one double crochet in each of the chains across. And just as a note, when you're stitching with two strands, you'll often see me pulling it like this just to make sure that my strands are together and one isn't tighter or looser than the other. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, and go through the second two. Now don't let it confuse you when you're using two strands. When you look at your hook, it looks like you might have four loops, but you only have two because we're using two strands. Don't let that confuse you as you go. All right, so I'm just going to stitch one double crochet in each of the chains across. I've stitched one double crochet in each double crochet across, and you should have 20 double crochets. And make sure you count this beginning chain three as your first. We're going to chain three and turn our work. We're going to place a double crochet in the next double crochet. This chain three counts as our first, so we'll go in the next. We'll stitch a double crochet, chain one. We're going to skip the next stitch and stitch a double crochet in the next two. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, and stitch a double crochet in the next two. And this is how this pattern will work. One double crochet in the next two, chain one, skip one. One double crochet in the next two, chain one, skip one. And then you'll end with one double crochet in the last two. There we go. We're going to go ahead and chain four, and there's a reason for that. But for now, I want you to see how this looks. Two double crochets, chain one, skip one, all the way across. Here's our last chain one, skip one and then two double crochets, one in each of the last two. All right, so now we're going to chain four. We're going to turn our work and we're gonna slip stitch in the last double crochet. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, and then pull that loop through the loop on our hook. And that's gonna form a little bump on the end of our row or on the side of our row. And then we'll go ahead and chain three. And that's the way that it should look. Let me grab the other scarf so you can see what I'm talking about with the bump. See on the end of every row there is a bump and that's what gives it its fun edge. Now for row three we're going to repeat what we just did on row two. Our chain three counts is our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in that next double crochet. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip that chain one space and stitch one double crochet in those two double crochets. 
and chain one and repeat one double crochet in the two double crochets there we go chain one and repeat my yarns not coming out very well sometimes that happens when you're working with two strands And this pattern's going to go really fast because all the rows are going to be repeat of row two. What makes the cowl or the scarf so much fun is the different colors that you choose to use. And we're going to talk about color changing in just a second. All right, so now I am on those last two double crochets. Two double crochets, chain one, all the way across, skipping those chain one spaces. And this is, like I said, the pattern that we're going to be using. Now I'm going to chain four. I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to slip stitch in that first double crochet on that row. And that's what gives me that little bump on the end of that row and chain three. And this is the way that the repeat will look. We'll do two double crochets, one in each of the two double crochets with chain ones in between. So what happens if I run out of the yarn that I'm using, because this is a random scarf and we're using all different colors, and I want to add in another color. So there's a couple things that you can do. You can continue to stitch and just randomly bring it in. For instance, here's my double crochet. And what I do is before I finish that double crochet, I bring in my next color, chain one, and then I just go on and stitch, starting with those next stitches. That's where the random comes in. But if you don't want to have it be in the middle of a row, what you can do, let me go ahead and take this out so I can show you. What you can do <clears throat> is when you get to the end of the previous row, which would be after that little bump, then you can add in your color, snug it down, do your chain three because you want to make sure that your chain three is in your new color if you're doing it at the end of the row or you'll have that one in green. Either way is fine and it depends on what you prefer. And then you just go on with the pattern of chain one, one double crochet in the next two double crochets, chain one, and then you can cut and weave this in later. All right, because if you're going to be changing colors a lot, you are going to have some ends to weave in. All right, so then I would just continue with this color. Okay, so I'm going to do this row across in our new color. And we're stitching it exactly the same. And here's where we began, and that's pulling a little because we need to weave that in. We can snug that down and weave that in just so that you understand how that works. And you're going to always have seven sets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of two double crochets, chain one on each row. All right. And if you want to widen this cowl or scarf, you're going to need to add in increments of three, and that will accommodate the chain one and the two double crochets. All right. And if you're doing this according to the pattern, you're going to need to repeat row two with that bump up through row 36. So after this fourth row, that's going to be an additional 
32 rows. So 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. All right. So what you'll do is you'll change your colors however you want to, and you'll continue to repeat row two, which is two double crochet, chain one across, chain four, and turn, and make your slip stitch. That's your row two, and you'll repeat that up through row 36. I'm going to go ahead and do my chain four. One, two, three, four. There we go, I'm going to hook back in there, and turn, do my slip stitch, and then I'm going to show you how to add in if you want to use fun fur. All right, let me move these out of the way so it's not in the way. So here's my fun fur and my red yarn. And so what I do, since I'm using a red fun fur, if I was using like a white or another color, I would probably choose one that matches as well. And so what I do is I hold those two together. And I like adding the fun fur because it gives it just a little bit of extra fun. All right, so you just pull them in just like you would any other strands of yarn. There we go. And you chain three because that's our first double crochet. And you stitch it exactly the same. And by having that extra strand of worsted weight in there or medium weight, it helps it stay a little more sturdy and also will help you find your stitches. And you do it exactly the same and you just add that in. All right, so no matter if you're using two strands of medium weight, one strand each of fun fur and medium weight, or one strand of chunky five or chunky six or bulky six, you stitch it exactly the same. Now, keep in mind that a six yarn is going to be a little bit thicker than a five yarn, and that's where the fun comes in. All right, so what we're going to do for the remainder of the scarf is repeat row two, those seven groups of two double crochet, chain one, then we chain four and join with a slip stitch for our little peacock bumps on the edge of our scarf. So repeat up through row 36, and from the fourth row, of course, it's 32 more rows. Have fun at all the different colors of yarn that you want to. And remember, it doesn't have to be Christmas colors. I've completed the amount of rows I want for my scarf. Now remember, one row equals approximately one inch. And for the pattern, I have you repeating it up through row 36. So that would be 36 inches. If you want this longer, say you're making it for someone who is taller or you're taller yourself, you can continue to add one row per inch for as many rows as you would like. Once you've completed your last row, we're not going to do that chain four there. What we're going to do is we're just going to chain three, and then we're going to place one double crochet in the next double crochet, one double crochet in the chain one space, one double crochet in the double crochets. And so basically we're stitching just a solid row of double crochets across. And this is going to give us a nice edge. If you want to just leave it as a plain scarf and not join it together, you've got a nice edge on the bottom and the top of your scarf. But if we're going to put it together to make a circle scarf or infinity scarf or cowl, and I prefer joining them together because I lose them less if it's a circle. <laughs> I'm always taking them off and leaving them in the restaurant. So I'm just going to finish stitching across, stitching one double crochet in each double crochet and chain one space. And this is going to get me 20 double crochets.
whoops, I missed my chain one space there. There we go. So now I have those 20 double crochets. If you're just going to make a scarf and not join the ends, you can clip it and weave in your end. But if you're going to make it into a circle scarf like I am, you're going to want to put your two ends together. And I'm going to turn my work. And I can go in the first stitch here and the first stitch here and stitch a single crochet. There we go. Go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through both stitches. If you also prefer, you can also do a twist in your scarf so that it's more like a Mobius, or what we would call an infinity sign or scarf. So this scarf can do lots of different styles. It can be a scarf, a cowl, an infinity scarf, a circle cowl, and then you can use all different types and colors of yarns. And it's a great take along project because it whips up really fast because we're using two strands or chunky yarns. All right, I'm just going to continue working across, joining the front to the back, stitching single crochets. I've completed stitching across, stitching the front to the back. I'm going to cut my yarn and tie that off. And then I'll use my needle to weave that in. And while I also have a lot of other places I need to weave in, everywhere where I changed colors, I'll have to weave it in. And it's real important that you weave those in because you don't want to leave those out and have your scarf come apart. All right, so I'm just gonna go in. And if you don't have a needle that has an eye big enough to do both strands, you can weave in your individual strands as well, and it works just as great. Just make sure you go through stitches and fibers of the yarn going back and forth, and you do this on every place that you changed colors. There we go. Now, this scarf doesn't really have a front or a back because we're going back and forth on rows and the stitches look the same on the front as the back, which I think is really cool. So here is my completed scarf or cowl. I did not put a twist in mine. I made it just a circle. But like I said, you can make it in a circle or an infinity or you can not join the ends together and leave it as an open scarf. And that's part of the reason we wanted to have a row of double crochet at the beginning and the end so that it would lay really pretty if you don't want to make it into a cowl. So lots of possibilities for yarns, colors, weights, and styles. And it works up super quick. And so it makes a great gift for anybody and you can make it in their favorite colors. And you don't have to use your scraps. You can buy yarn specifically for this as well. I just love a versatile pattern that has lots of ways to use it. <music>